actually be seeing this, but when I'm recording it, it is uh, almost nine o'clock on Saturday night, and I have uh, I've now been with my kids by myself for two days. My wife is on a girl's trip, and she comes back tomorrow morning, praise God. And so uh, here I am on day 20 of my content challenge for myself, and uh, I've gotta knock out a video. And so uh, I'm in a sweatshirt, my hair's not done, and you know what? It's all about the content. And so here, here is what this video is about. Are you guys ready for this? Y'all ready for this? When, when I teach uh, about video, I, I get so many realtors and loan officers that say, Kyle, you just don't get it, man. I am boring. I'm boring. I, I hear that all the time. I just don't have anything interesting to talk about. And, and so this video is 100% about, no, you're not. You're not boring. Think about, think about this word. The, the word curiosity is, is an interesting word to me because it means a strong desire to know or learn something. And, and here's what I think is the reality of, of why I believe you're wrong. Because as human beings, we are curious. We are. We, we like to people watch. We, we want to know. If, if your neighbor pulled up in a Lambo, you would want to know what, what's going on. Uh, my neighbor, two doors down, always has military Hummers in their driveway. And, and every day I go, what does that dude do? And you know what? It's probably not even that cool, but it, but it makes me wonder. We, we are people of wonder. We, we are people that are curious. And so out of sheer curiosity, you are not boring because people do want to know. And, and so I want to quickly run you through three, three things that you need to realize that make you not boring. Are you all ready? Number one, there is not another you. There's not another you. There, there never will be. You, you are unique. You are set apart. You are different. And, and so what, what the world doesn't need more of is everybody else. And, and so the fact that you are a one of one means that, that you are not boring. You know, uh, my brother, he, he buys and sells, you know, baseball cards, basketball cards, uh, Marvel cards. It's the, the world of, of trading cards is crazy now. But, but he buys and sells them all the time as, as just like a side hustle. And he's really good at it. And, and so when I get the chance, I enjoy opening boxes of cards with him. I don't buy them, but I like to open them. I, I like the sound of the pack crinkling. I like thumbing through the cards. I like finding the, the awesome one. And nowadays, the most valuable card are the one of ones. It, it is a special card that they didn't make thousands of them. They didn't make hundreds of them. They didn't make dozens of them. They made one. And, and it's the most rare. You are a one of one. You are completely set apart. There will never be another. And, and I think the fact that that is true means that you have more to offer than you're giving yourself credit for. Number two, Someone out there looks up to you. Someone out there values your opinion. Someone out there wants to ask you a question. Someone out there is striving to be like you. And, and so you've got to realize that the world may not care, right? Think, look, like, look at this video. The world doesn't care about Kyle Draper yet. I'm not big time, right? I, I'm, I've got a small following. I am, I am working hard to grow this reputation, but at the end of the day, the average person, right, they don't walk by me at Target and go, what's that Kyle Draper? Right, like that doesn't happen, that's not real life. 
but my people care. My people watch these videos. My people value my opinion. And, and so you've got to understand how this works. So do your people. And, and then here's the last piece. You've got to look around you and, and give yourself credit for what you've accomplished. You know, the, the disjustice that, that social media does for us is it allows us to compare, right, all of our behind the scenes to everybody else's highlight reel. And so while I'm over here having a bad day, I watch someone else doing something incredible on social and, and I start going, what's wrong with me? Man, what, what the heck? What is going on? Why, why are they getting all these breaks? Right, when, when just 12 hours ago, I was doing the same thing that they are. We've got to be careful. And, and you've got to give yourself credit for what you've accomplished in your life. You've done some cool things, right? I, 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 I wrote, um, I'm pulling this actually from my blog. I, I wrote this blog earlier today, right? So you think you're boring. And, 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 and I talked about in this blog that, you know what I'm proud of today? I've kept my kids alive for two full days. They're healthy. They've eaten every meal. Nobody has bled. Nobody fought. It's been a pretty solid weekend. Why do we not give ourselves credit for, for things? We, we've got to be able to celebrate ourselves. Otherwise, we will never get to where we want to go. And, and so this could be, right, this could be one of the myths that's holding you back from why you don't do video. And, and I'll tell you now, like I tell you every time, Gary V said, Content is the price of entry to relevance. It doesn't matter how good you are if people don't know about you. And the easiest way for people to know about you is for you to be doing video. It's for you to be meeting people right where they are. Just like I'm doing right now. Right? It's, it's 9.02 p.m. on Saturday night. Here I am in a sweatshirt with, with, with my hair not did up. Right? Just being able to talk to you guys. I'm humanizing myself sitting in my living room. Get over the perfection of this whole thing. Nobody's drawn to that. That's not what people want. And so you have got to make some changes and start leveraging video. Don't be held back because you think you're boring because you're not. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I'm going to enjoy the next couple hours because my kids are finally asleep. Thank you, Jesus. Bye.